Hello and welcome to It's Only Electric. Today we're going to look at the evolution of the Tesla Model S. This car has been around for over 10 years now. It's on its 11th year. And today I have gathered a couple of different Tesla models. This is actually the newest version, a 2023 Model S Plaid in white. Uh, together with one of the oldest cars, it's a P85 Plus rear-wheel drive car from 2014. This model was introduced in 2012. So it's the first performance version compared with the newest available performance version of the Tesla Model S. There's a lot of people talking about that these cars are the same. I mean, I don't want to buy a 10 year old car, for instance. I just want to show the differences and the evolution of these cars and actually both look at the exterior and the interior just to show you what have changed and what's the same. We're going to look at some specs uh, to be able to compare the cars. So two different Model S cars. So starting with the front. This uh, front was actually introduced in 2016. This is a wider version because it's the plaid version, but uh, it's like third or fourth generation of headlights, full LED lights compared to the headlights on this car. That's uh, Xenon lights and a bit different ambient lighting on this car. Uh, this car also has the very known and discussed nose cone. This is the first version of the car that has a kind of a grill uh, exterior. This is of course removed and replaced by just a straight and plain front to make it look more electrified. Both cars, of course, as all Teslas, has trunks. So not only boots, also trunks in the front. And since this car has three motors and one in the front, and this doesn't, this trunk is actually really big. It's much bigger than the one in the Plaid version because of the non-existing front motor. One other big difference uh, with these cars is, the, of course, the Tesla very well-known autopilot functionality and hardware. This car, the Plaid version, is running uh, hardware version 4. So this is, th is the latest hardware version for autopilot. Uh, you, you clearly see the cameras around the car uh, more evolved and better compared to the first generation of autopilot, autopilot version 1. The Plaid version has a wider body. It's hard to tell because there is a big difference when you look at the colors, red versus white. So you, you don't really see the difference, but this one uh, is wider than the red one. So it's a wider body to cover the wider tires uh, to be able to keep the horsepower down to the ground. Uh, back in the days, this had a VLTP range of approximately 450 kilometers. It's a 85 kilowatt hours battery and a, not, and, a, and a net capacity of around 81. Uh, this is the plus version, meaning that it has a sportier chassis than the traditional P85. And there's a big difference when you look at the taillights. And Tesla introduced a new generation of taillights on this Plaid model. So now the, the Model S back taillights actually looks much better and much more modern than the, the old generation of cars that did. And when it comes to charging, there's a big difference uh, and an evolution. The new cars has CCS connectors, as all other Tesla models have. This one has 250 kilowatts of peak power compared to this one that has 120 kilowatts as peak power and a Type 2 connector. And that will give a big difference when it comes to charging velocity and charging times. But rear wheel drive car, 420 horsepower compared to the Plaid with over 1000 horsepower. I think it's 1020 horsepower exactly. And driving on all four wheels with three different motors. So a big generation shift. Uh, there's also big differences when it comes to battery chemistry and the motors itself. So big difference. Let's have a look inside the P85 Plus. This car is almost 10 years old and seems to hold up very well. This has the piano black and aluminium trims. 
the first gen power seats with fake no it's not fake leather it's real leather i think tesla stopped using real leather in end of 2017 it has the iconic 17 inch vertical screen with the first mcu but this one is updated to the second the mcu 2 the 12.3 inch instrument cluster let's look at the back bench the leather almost looks like plastic and it's a very flat back bench but a lot of happened since then still holds up yeah and by the way this car doesn't have the ap the first version of the autopilot was actually released in 2015. let's have a look inside the plaid look at the door panel a lot more sophisticated soft touch materials everywhere matte finish new generation of seats ventilated seats horizontally aligned 17 inch screen the updated instrument cluster the yoke steering this is a cool thing gives a really clear view of the instrument cluster turn signal horns everything is on the steering wheel now the new seats is also of course power seats with lumbar support fresh and minimalistic let's have a look at the back seat it's updated it now comes with a 8 inch screen in the back seat where you can control uh, things like climate and media also you can also play games on it most of the people won't be able to tell, tell the difference between an old Model S and the last generation of Model S it's only really on the inside that most of the people will see the difference immediately but there is a total in a new car like everything is updated everything from motors all the computers the suspension the battery pack the heat pump the efficiency of the car is like 20 to 25 percent higher than the older versions so it's a total new generation of car and it has been evolving all the time i must say that i'm really impressed by the p85 plus the paint of the car is in a great condition, no rust. I mean, everything is aluminum, so I didn't expect any rust, but it seems to hold together just fine. The car has just passed 250,000 kilometers with its original battery. It still has over 90% of its capacity left. So the owner actually claims that he can travel 400 kilometers during summertime with the air wheels. That's impressive. This is a 10 year old car and it's still more efficient than newly introduced cars on the market. And on top of that, it still receives over the air updates. The Model S really has a special place in my heart since it was my first EV and my first Tesla. I got a brand new Model S 75D back in 2017. That car was amazing in all aspects. Unfortunately, I don't have any good videos on it, so Here's some pictures. I think the Model S is by far the best looking Tesla currently available. It has amazing performance, generous space and boot capacity. It's a great family car with brutal performance. I'm actually planning to do a more detailed evolutionary video about the Model S. Does that sound interesting for you? Just let me know in the comments and write what you think is good to look into for instance the autopilot hardware or the, the onboard computers you name it let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you like it i just want to give some special thanks to my friends at the tesla club sweden for being able to visit me with their cars and let me review them uh thanks guys that's all for today thank you for watching speak to you soon